Sorry, Yoongi. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I haven't filmed a tutorial in so long. Sorry, I keep opening up my YouTube videos like that. But hello, welcome back. We're in a new space. But we are here now. I'm gonna teach you how to make this bunny beanie, aka the new jeans beanie. You see my TikTok? This one I made from scratch yeah. for fabric, but I'm actually gonna show you how to upcycle it with a regular beanie because I feel like most people would end up just using a regular beanie. So there's so many beanies at the thrift store. Grab one. Up Cycle it so you don't have to buy a new jeans beanie and you can save something from going into the landfill So for this project the materials that you'll need are a beanie some scrap fabric that you have lying around or just Honestly any fabric maybe even a quarter of a yard. You'll also need some fluff You could honestly steal this from your pillow obviously a sewing machine or you can hand stitch or glue this It's possible spray paint which is also optional if you want to add the little symbols and some embellishments like studs Chains rings, but those are also optional Clearly I haven't done a YouTube video in so long, so we're gonna ignore how messy my pink table has gotten. There are just so many ickinesses, if that's even a word, it's definitely not a word. What you're gonna start off with is a beanie. If you are starting off with just a regular plain beanie, what you wanna do is flip it inside out. We're gonna unstitch this on the little corners of your head. And I realized I can't even try on this beanie because of my hairstyle today. This scrap piece of paper, scrap piece of paper, what is fashion? This is literally scrap fabric from a t-shirt that I made into a crop top. I saved whatever's left over because it's so much fabric that you could use. And look, she's being sustainable. She's using the scrap fabric. Who knew that 10 years later I would use this material for beanies? So I have my little seam ripper. Start unstitching like so. So I need to zoom in for this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You made my heart go boom, boom, my supernova girl. Honestly, you don't even have to do that much. I would say two inches worth. You don't want to unstitch too much. Trust me, this is a lot easier than trying to make your beanie from scratch like I've been doing for the last ones. I've also made a pink one. But yeah, I think this little opening is good, like that. And then we're gonna do the other side. Is anyone going to the August D concert? <gasps> it's Minyu Gi. Hello. My bias. Mom, do you know who Suga is? Suga, yeah. Where's he Suga from? Is. There you go. Your mm. face. See? Mama Rose knows. <gasps> Little holes. Okay. So now we have our scrap material. I am going to just fold it like so. We're going to try to use all the fabric. I literally just make a shape that resembles a bunny ear. Honestly, this is pretty much it. Well, obviously we're not gonna use the little waistband, so I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna save us one seam. Cut two of these, right? And then we fold it like this. And then what we're gonna do is curve these edges so that they become bunny ear shapes. You know, how it's rounded at the bottom. And then just cut that off. Now, now you have two of these. <laughs> they look like really long butts. <laughs> you just fold it like this, and then you are going to sew all along this edge. But we saved ourselves one seam because we're just gonna leave this as a fold. And then you're also gonna do it on this side. Let's take a mini break. I need to oil this sewing machine. Grandpa Daddy gave you that. Shout out to my auntie Cher, my grandma Letty from Hawaii. So now you have your two ears and we are going to, well, before we turn it inside out, let me just cut the excess seam allowance. From here, we are going to turn them inside out like so. And you have cute little bunny ears. Let's flatten them as much as possible. They honestly look like socks. Oh my gosh. I could have made these from socks. Well, this is still very sustainable because I'm using scrap material that I had left over from years ago, but still. You could also make these from tube socks or something. That would be really cute. So we have two stencils. We have a star stencil or a heart stencil. I don't know which one I want to do. What are y'all feeling, huh? Star heart, star heart. Yes, you all can't decide. So we're gonna go with star. <laughs> Glovey glove, glove, glove. Start from the bottom and then work our way up. And I just do like little spritzes. From here. Let's go right here. It's a 
okay if you see that it bleeds a little bit here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let me take a picture of this for my Instagram story. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll let this dry and then we'll do the other ear. Oh my god, did I run out of paint? <laughs> there. This is how much I use. So little. You really don't need that much. What I do is grab it. I go all the way to the bottom first because that's where I want most of the fluff to live. I do this with my hands and then I just pull it back so that it spreads. <laughs> Like this. Filled but not full. That makes sense. Because you just want it to flop. Before putting them into the beanie, I give it a little pleat because I want it to look like a bunny ear. So I want it to be tapered at the top. I'm honestly too lazy to find real pins. So we're just going to use these big binder clips real quick. They do the job. We'll just make a little pleat here. Like so. Oh, and then take our beanie, you know, with the holes in it. You're just gonna pull your ears through the very top like this. And then you're just gonna fit the ear through that hole and then you're gonna straight stitch it right here. I love inverting it because it's so cute. And then when you flip it, it's a little bunny. Like it, Mom? From here, now it's time to add the studs. The studs, the chains, whatever you want. You can even leave as is. I just like putting a bunch of embellishments. I feel naked if I don't have chains and rings and a bunch of things on. I'm basically going to copy the same formula of this. I have these really big rings that I found and I'm going to just put them right here. Do I have pliers here on this wall? I'm not a rose. I have to have at least 10 pliers. Let's see if I can actually open these. <gasps> I did it. <laughs> I have to pierce them through three layers of knit. I'm probably just going to go one layer by one layer. Almost. Almost. Ha. Now we have to push it back. These pliers are just unnecessarily big. I'm such a weakling. This one might be kind of cool. Do we have enough though? Ooh. Let's see if I could open this. We got the chain on. Probably gonna do this like that. I'll probably have it drop right here. So I need to cut it. My top camera's gonna die, so let's resume this tomorrow. Adding studs is pretty easy. All you need are pliers. What you wanna do is just like place it where you want it. I'll probably put it, I don't know, maybe right here. Pierce it through. You'll see the little prongs coming out. So yeah, I just take the pliers and then I hold down pokey things. I want to add some studs onto the other ear as well. It's honestly just the same thing. I'm probably just going to put them along here, the edge of this ear. Poke it through and then just hold over the prong. Like so. <laughs> to add a spike, you just make a hole. I'm just using an X-Acto knife. You could just use anything that's like pretty sharp. The spikes that I have are screw back. I kid you not, this is so much harder without nail. For me at least. Okay, finally. Oh, that took forever. So now that the screw is through the hole, you just screw on your spike. So now I need to hook this chain midway on the ear. And then I'm just gonna attach that with a jump ring that I have. Now I'm just gonna attach the chain. Lastly, I stole this little charm from my jewelry, so I'm just gonna add this to the end of the chain with the broken link that was from the chain. So I'm gonna see if it fits. <gasps> And then I'm just gonna close up the broken link. Oh my gosh, I just broke the, I just broke the charm. It still works. There's just no ring attached to it, but it's fine. I'm done. So this is all I'm gonna do for the embellishments. <laughs> Oh, I learned ditto.